Hello everyone. So we're going to talk a little bit about USB sticks, uh, memory sticks again, flash drives, uh, putting them onto your computer with Windows 10. Uh, we're going to plug in a USB stick in a minute uh, and see what's on the stick and then we're going to put the files from the stick or copies of the files onto the, from the stick onto the computer uh, and then we're going to also uh, put files on from the computer back onto the stick again. So it's fairly easy to do, but one thing that we need to be familiar with before we do anything else uh, is what's called File Explorer on your computer. So I'm going to take the arrow down to the yellow folder down the bottom on the taskbar down here. And if I uh, left click once on the File Explorer, and this will be the same with your Windows 10 as well, uh, it opens up a part of the computer called File Explorer, uh, which is where we can find documents, photographs, music and videos on our computer. So as we can see, the window's opened up. I'm going to make this window a little bit bigger by clicking on the Maximize button. So I put the pointer onto the Maximize button up there, top right hand corner, left click on it once, and that makes it bigger for us. Uh, and as we can see uh, on the left hand side here, it tells us what's on the computer. We've got downloads. These are things that have been downloaded from the internet normally. We've also got documents, which is where the computer will store things like Word documents, uh, letters that you've written. It normally would store in the documents section of your computer by default. We'll also store pictures that you've downloaded uh, or, or pictures that we're going to take from our USB stick would normally go into pictures. Uh, pictures normally means photographs. If you had music and videos on your computer, normally you would put them into the music or video section of the computer as well. But we're not going to be interested in those just for now. We're uh, more interested in documents and photographs or pictures. So I'm just going to close this down for now. So top right hand corner, left click once and that closes the window down. Now I'm going to put in a USB stick and we'll see what happens. So a USB stick has been put into the computer and we're just waiting for the computer to recognize the stick and down here we see where it says select to choose what happens with removable devices so I'm going to put the pointer on and left click once. If you left click once on this another window opens up and it tells us uh, gives us some idea of what we, we can do with this USB stick. We can open folder to, to view files using File Explorer. We configure, we can configure storage settings as well what we want to do really is we want to open the folder to view files. So we click onto this and it will open up File Explorer and it will allow us to see what's on the USB drive. So I'm going to left click once onto that. Now File Explorer, which is the yellow folder down here, has automatically opened up and it's showing us what is on the USB stick. And if you see this highlighted down here, this is our USB stick here and it's called USB E drive it's called uh, and these items here are what's on our USB stick here. If I take the USB stick out of the computer you'll see the file explorer closes down and if I go back to file explorer and click onto it you'll see that the E drive has now disappeared from this list over here. If I put the USB stick back into the computer There it is. You'll notice that it now appears over here, USB E, and these are the files that are on the USB stick here. If you put the USB stick in and it doesn't come up with a message down the bottom right hand corner for you to click onto, you can click onto File Explorer and you can manually go to the drive over here on the left hand side. Sometimes it will say USB E, very often it might say USB D or it might give you the name of the, the manufacturer's name of the USB stick, if it's Kingston or SanDisk, it may come up with the name there as well. But what you're looking for is under where it says this PC, you're looking for a drive letter that's normally going to be D, E, it could be even F or G. It won't be C, it won't be A or B or C. C is normally your hard drive, which is this PC here, which is your, your computer hard drive. So it's going to give it a name with a letter D, E, or possibly F. In this case it's letter E. So let's go back to the USB stick again. We're going to click on File Explorer. If I put the pointer onto the USB letter E over here and left click once over there, 
it shows us all the files that are on this USB stick. And as we can see, there aren't many files on here. So what actually have we got on this USB stick? Well, it tells us a bit of information here. These are the names of the files here. We've got one, two, three, four, five different files on here. The type of files, it tells us what they are here. This top one here is a Microsoft, a Microsoft Office Word document. So that's going to be a letter of some sort. Uh, this one here is a JPEG file and this one here is a JPEG file. They are photographs. So if you use a camera and you're taking photographs, most likely they're going to be called JPEG files or JPG files. The other two files that we got here are both application files and these are actually software applications. These are actually um, malware programs uh, that you can put onto your computer. Your computer will then download these programs onto your computer and allow you to scan for viruses and malicious software, those kind of things. But we're going to ignore those for now. We're more interested in the Microsoft Office documents and these photos, which are the JPEG files here. So if you wanted to open something that's on your USB stick. You just put the pointer onto the item. It will highlight it in blue. And then what you need to do is you need to double left click onto it to open it up. So put the pointer onto it and then you need to do a double left click. If I double left click onto that top item there, the Microsoft Office Word documents. Just give it a second to open up. And then it shows us the documents there. So this is the document that's on the USB stick. I'm just going to close that down for now. We could look at the photographs on there as well. The JPEG, if I put the pointer on the second item there that says class photo, I double left click onto it and that allows us then to access that photograph. Um, if Windows asks you what, which app you want to use, there's more than one app you can use. We're going to use the Photos app, which is selected by default. And we're just going to click on, I'm going to always use this to open up JPEG files and then click on OK and it should now open up. And there's the photograph. Not a very good photograph, but that's me teaching in one of my classes. I'm just going to close that down. There's another photograph there as well called June 19th 008. I can double left click onto that and open that photograph. And there's another photograph for you. So that shows you the files that are on this USB stick. If I take the USB stick out of the computer now, File Explorer closes down and those files have now been taken off the computer. If I click into File Explorer here, left click once onto it, you'll notice that over here the USB drive letter E has disappeared. Uh, so you've got no longer have access to those photographs or documents. But what we can do is we can put the USB stick back in and then we can actually copy those files onto the computer and that's what we're going to do next. So what we do is we put the USB stick back in into the USB port and here we go again. The files are on the USB letter E here and these are the files that are on the USB stick. Now, if we want to put these files onto our computer, what we can do is we can click onto these files individually and we can then copy them over into the relevant uh, places on our computer. For example, this top document here, which is a, Word, is a Microsoft Office document, which is like a letter. What we can do is we can put that into the documents section of our computer over here. And likewise with these JPEG files, which were the photographs, remember, there's the photograph there and there's the photograph there, the JPEG file. What we can do is we can put those into the pictures part of our computer. There's more than one way of doing this. The method we're going to use here is copying and pasting, which is fairly easy to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy the Anthony Robbins Word document here and we're going to then paste it into the documents folder over here. So what we're doing is we're creating a copy and then we're going to insert it into the folder on the left hand side. So first things first then, we're going to click onto the Anthony Robbins document over here and I want you to right click onto the mouse and we're going to select copy from the menu, left click once on copy, then we're going to go over to documents, click once on documents and then we're going to right click on this empty space here and click on paste and that has now put the Anthony Robbins Word document 
into the documents folder on our computer. So let's go back to the USB stick down here. We're going to now put a photograph, which is a JPEG file, remember, and we're going to put it into the pictures folder on the computer, which is normally where you'd put photographs uh, and pictures uh, onto your PC. So let's click onto the June photograph here. We're going to right click once onto it. We're going to scroll down to copy and left click once. Then we're going to go over to pictures over here. We're going to right click once and then we're going to paste. And that puts the photo into our pictures folder on the computer. So now we've got a copy not only on the USB stick, but we've now got a copy of the, the, the documents and the photograph on our computer. And if you remove the USB stick from your computer right now, a, a copy will still exist on your computer. Okay guys, so we've put some files from our USB stick onto our computer using the copy and paste method. Uh, and what we're going to do now is we're going to go back to the USB stick. We're going to put a couple of files onto the USB stick. We can just use the files that we've been using for, for ease of use. Uh, and we can, uh, I'm going to talk you through that process right now. So uh, the USB stick is plugged into the computer. I'm going to go down to File Explorer because this is the way that we can access all files on the computer. So left click once onto the File Explorer. Uh, and the USB stick down here is highlighted and these are the files that are, are on the USB stick at the moment. Uh, what I want us to do uh, right now is I'm, I want us to clear everything off this uh, USB stick so that it's completely blank. Uh, there's a couple of ways of doing this. One of the ways is to just click onto the, an item on the USB stick, highlight, so left, just left click once onto an item at the top, say for example, so it's highlighted. And then if you find on your keyboard the delete button, every keyboard will have a delete button. It's normally in the top right hand corner somewhere. Uh, and right, uh, sorry, just uh, put your finger onto it and click onto delete. And it will ask you if you want to delete, permanently delete the file. And you just left click once onto yes, and that gets rid of that file. Another way to do it is to put the pointer uh, and what I can do is if I hold the left click button down, I can highlight all the files by moving the mouse across. So I'm, I'm putting the left, holding the left click button down, and while I've got it held down, I'm moving the pointer to uh, to the top of. So in, we select all these files here. They're all highlighted in blue, and once they're all highlighted, you can just leave, let go of your pointer, uh, and then go to the delete button on your computer. Left, uh, just put your finger onto the the button and click delete. It will ask if you want to permanently delete these five items and get the mouse and click onto yes. And that you've now deleted everything off the USB stick. So we've got a clean USB stick to start again. So we're going to put a photograph and a document back onto the USB stick. So what we're going to do is the reverse process of what we did earlier on. We're going to copy and paste from documents and from pictures into the onto the USB stick. So we'll start off with a document then. we we'll go over to documents, left click, click, click once on documents. We're going to select the Anthony Robbins document, which is what we were playing around with earlier on. Right click once onto it, a menu appears. Scroll down to copy because we're going to copy and paste. Left click once on copy, that's now copied. We can go down to the USB stick. Put the pointer into the blank space here on the USB stick. Right click once, a menu appears. Left click once on paste, and there we go. The, uh, a copy has now been made of the document on our USB stick. The same with the pictures. Let's go over to pictures. We're going to select the June the photograph over here. We're going to right click onto it, scroll down to copy and left click once on copy and that's made a copy. Go down to the USB stick, left click once on the stick, put the pointer into some empty space, right click once and then left click once on paste and there we go. We've now got the Word documents and we've got the photograph on our USB stick down here. We've still got a copy of it in the documents and pictures on the computer as well. It doesn't actually get rid of it, it just makes a copy of it. And now that we've got a copy of each of these on the USB stick, you're safe to take the USB stick out of the computer, safe in the knowledge that you can take that USB stick anywhere else and those files are now on the USB stick.